name. Dakota, I'm, I'm not sure what the last name is. No need. I have it right here. Not too many Dakotas around here. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I'm checking in here at Bell Hostel. It's been a bit much lately, and I'm really feeling down. I'm not sure if a shower and a hot meal can help what I've been going through, but it doesn't seem like much else will. I have had some theories since the first night, and then since the bottle incident, that maybe I'm also dead. But I don't really think that I am. Usually when I have those thoughts, it's time for a grippy sock vacation anyways. Anyways, this place seems very nice. My boyfriend actually stayed here on his journey, and he sent me a selfie from one of these rooms. It looks like a shack, but it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. It's actually built into a mountain, so the shack part isn't the whole thing. And when I say shack... I mean molding wood with chipped paintings of peeling sunflowers. The scent of mildew is actually insane. <laughs> I am near the end of Tennessee and should be crossing into North Carolina tomorrow. That is, if I don't decide to take a zero day. Which, I have been heavily weighing the pros and cons of that because I am so tired. The hikers here seem nice, though. My roommate is a girl named Betsy, and she's quiet and meek, but seems nice enough. I'm really glad I got a room with someone quiet. Some of the hikers are strange. Yes. I am refusing to talk about the man in the bottle and the park ranger with glowing eyes, because if I ignore them, then they should go away. Uh... Anyways, I'm gonna get some rest. Good night. Hey. 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 Great, you're up. Do you have a dog in here or something? Because if so... Because... I just woke up with these claw marks all over me, and they look like a dog. See? Those don't look like a dog. <gasps> Fuck, I'm bleeding. I think there's a first aid kit more towards the back of the hostel. Let me help you, and we can get you patched up. Oh, here, it's attached to the wall. Dakota. Dakota! Did you just say something? No. Okay, well, here is a bandage. I have no idea where she is. Eat up. No. I know exactly what you are and how long you've been here. I need to find the girl. <laughs> oh, don't act like you are any better than me. We both made the exact same choices. I'm no winch. <laughs> oh. Betsy, we need to go back to our room. Yeah. What is happening? I haven't been out there long. Do you have a trail name yet? No. Apparently my government name is already very well known. 
I always thought trail names were more than just a fad or if you're into naming your spirit or whatever. I think that stuff is more wook shit. Personally, I think they are for your own protection. You get back in the woods and all anyone needs is a name to find you. Well, anyone or anything. If you believe in that sort of thing, and, and it seems like you do. I, I think a trail name is like a shield or an incantation. Your past can't follow you into the woods. The problem is that I'm following my past. I'm doing this as a memory for my boyfriend. He went missing a year ago on the trail. I know. Because I, I, I met him, and I recognized you. It's, it's a shame what happened to him. You met him? How long have you been here? How long have you been here? Dakota, you have to let go of your past or it will literally eat you alive. You understand this, yes? Answer my question, damn it! Someone answer my question! I, I can't. If I give you any answers, then... Legend. Use the trail name Legend. Legend, go! I I'll hold it off. Metsy Bell, still stuck in Bellwitch Cave. You couldn't even protect yourself. Thank you.